Welcome. Wow, I've just done this practice and I don't know if it's the humidity of Queensland or it's a little bit of a stronger practice at times, but it's a, it's a real doozy and a, and a really fun one. So lots of dynamic movement, a little bit of focus on balance. And part of that is hip stability. So strength and, and flexibility, mobility coming into the hips as well. Lots of fun movements in this one. So um, let's begin together. We'll start in a seated position. Finding yourself in a comfortable seated position. Let's shut down the eyes. Create just a little bit of lift in the lower back. Let your belly space start to open up. And then relaxing the shoulders, the eyes and the jaw. Take a nice long and very deep breath in. Heavy and releasing breath out. I'll just take a moment or two to let the body the mind and your energy begin to settle. But like everything in the practice, it becomes a conscious process. And so here, draw your attention to your body and bring a heightened sense of sensitivity to your body. So notice the sensations. Just tune into the feeling of the body. Obvious stuff, easy stuff. And then tune into the rhythm of your breath. Start to engage with the moment to moment happenings with the body. You're in direct contact with the experience of the body in the moment. And then work with the moment. So as you start to consciously deepen your breath, let it spread down and towards your lower back. Let it rise and fill up through the midsections and then up into the chest. Let the exhale float out of the body gently, slowly, smoothly. We'll just take two or three more of those. Conscious saturation of your breath through your whole body. As you're breathing in, imagine that breath goes out to the fingers and the toes. As you're breathing out, let it be smooth and slow. Let your torso contract towards your spine. Another breath or two. Nothing exaggerated or too harsh. Stay with a nurturing quality of mind. And then let's, let's just carry that nurturing quality, the active breath, the feeling of the body into the rest of the practice. And let's blink open the eyes and come straight towards cat cow. So find tabletop, hands and knees. And as you get there, take an inhale to press the belly down to the floor and an exhale to really raise and arch up through your spine. And then carrying on, inhale to press, exhale to arch. Really try and get your tailbone moving or your pelvis beginning to move. And from there, initiate a little more movement through the shoulders. Shoulder blades squeezing together as you press the belly down. Spreading them apart as you arch the spine. Last round, dip to the arch. And then returning to a neutral spine, turn your hands backwards. So turn the hands out to the side of your mat and then walk them backwards and sit a little bit of body weight backwards. Now, only two or three breaths here. Let the shoulders relax, let your jaw relax. Really sink in for just one more big breath. And then if you haven't already, tuck your toes and sit down onto the heels, raising up the arms towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in, so tuck toes and then interlace your hands behind the lower back. Roll back the shoulders, about five good breaths here, lifting the chest, but drawing the belly in. So very active through the core. And sometimes to me, it almost feels like I'm doing some core work here. As you're lifting your chest and your ribs, you're dropping the shoulder blades and keeping the belly in for probably the last breath now. And then release and come out into downward facing dog. So if you need to rest your toes or wiggle them out, please go for it. 
Otherwise, let's meet in down dog and just carry a bit of movement into your first down dog. So pedaling out the legs a few times and organizing, organizing some openness in the back of the legs. We just take another breath or two. And then with an inhale, bring the shoulders above the wrist into high plank. And as you exhale, head back into down dog. And just go through that two more times. The inhale brings you forward into plank. Exhaling back to dog. Nice and rounded, arched in the upper back. High plank. Lower the knees now and lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Take the hands a little wider and inhale, lift up the chest into cobra. Exhale to guide the chest back down with strength in your glutes and lower back. Two, three more rounds. So not that long. Lifting as you inhale. Slow release as you exhale. Control the movement from the lower belly. Inhale to lift. Suck the lower belly in. Squeeze your glutes and lower down. And then push back through to tabletop hands and knees. Come up into down dog straight away. And once you're there, walk your hands backwards towards your feet into Uttanasana, a nice gentle forward fold. So go ahead and bend the knees as much as you'd like to. Certainly let your head and neck relax. A little sway side to side, forward and back. Only two or three more breaths here. Really try and make good use to loosen the upper body and let it hang. Last breath. Roll up your spine. Bend the knees more. Suck your belly in. Reach up and stretch up. At the top, find chair pose. Hands to prayer. Sink the hips back and down. And as soon as you get there, lift the heels up off the ground. Hold for a moment. Now, make contact with your toes. Squeeze the toes into the floor a little bit. Keep your belly in. Sweep your arms, your arms out and stand up. On point. Bunch of little ballerinas here. Raise up the arms. Belly in. One big breath at the top to stretch as high as you can. And then gently, take your time, interlace your hands behind the lower back. Stay on point for a moment. Roll back the shoulders. Drop the heels and fold again. Hands coming up over the head. Two big breaths only. And release. Hands to the floor. Walk your hands out to plank position. This time as you arrive... Tap your right knee to right elbow. Squeeze it in. Stay in plank and kick the leg back and hover the foot off the floor. Set the foot down. Lift the hips. Down dog. Let's do it on the left. High plank. Left knee to left elbow. Stay in plank. Kick the leg back. Hover. Let the foot kick hard. And then set it down. Lift the hips. Down dog. Inhale. Come into high plank. Lower the knees. And lower the whole body down until you're flat. Interlace your hands behind your lower back. Roll back the shoulders. Do your best. Inhale, lift the chest. Feet down. Exhale to lower. Two to go. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Knees straight. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Hands underneath the shoulders. Either do a push-up or come back through tabletop and into down dog. Once you're there, starting to walk towards the top of your mat, feet coming forwards towards the hands. And as you get there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold in. Stand tall and reach up. Nice and big. Squeeze your glutes. Reach up and lean back. Exhale to fold again. Hands coming down. Halfway lift, flatten out your back. Step your left foot back into runner's lunge and one breath, puff the chest forward on fingertips and step your way back into down dog, hips up. Inhale, through to high plank, come forward. Exhale to chaturanga, bend your elbows. Inhale, up dog, chest pulls through the arms and down dog to lift up the hips. One big breath only. We try and keep a little simmer here. And then a walk, step, or a jump to the top of the mat. Feet coming forwards. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold again. Stand tall, reach up all the way. Exhale to fold straight back down, hands to the floor. Halfway lift, flatten out. Right foot stepping back. 
puff the chest forward, back knee very straight. Step back into down dog, hips up, drive the hips up and back. Inhale, immediately high plank now. Exhale to chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more deep breath there. And then a walk, step or a jump to the top. Feet up. Inhale, halfway lift. Next out of fold. Stand tall, reach up all the way. Exhale to fold again. Hands coming down. It's going to change. Halfway lift. And now the left foot stepping back. Lower the knee to the floor. Raise the chest and arms. At the top here, the right hand physically grabs the left wrist. Grab a good hold of it. Lift through the arm into the side body. Let your left glute sink and start to, in fact, drive the left hip forward a little and the left armpit forward. So just a mild twist. You're not trying to twist deep. You're just angling your chest and hip a little to the, sort of to the right. You're facing a little to the right. And hopefully we're hitting a sweet spot there. Now go ahead and take it into a side bend. Plant the front foot hard and lean to your right. Keep breathing. Take just one more big breath. And then tilting the left shoulder up for the last big breath. And as you exhale, twist. Hook your left elbow around the front knee. Hands come together. Now twist deep. Sink the hips a little extra. Take just one more big breath here. Short stop. Brief hold. And then release. Two hands to the floor. Straighten through your front leg into half Hanuman. And even... Send the hips back onto uh, the left heel there and tuck in the toes so you can sit on that heel and almost stretch out the foot in the process. Now we're, we're folding forward so let the chest dive in, let the shoulders relax a little. Front foot lifted. Two more big breaths right here. Next inhale. Walk the hands forward runner's lunge pick up the back knee and go ahead and raise your right hand up into simple twist as you arrive step your right leg back into side plank now in this side plank hold for an extra moment and place your right foot just beside the left one in front of it so now the feet are side by side go ahead and hug your left knee up into the left elbow take a big breath and as your right hand comes to the floor, flip that left leg over into wild thing. Turn the hips, rotate the chest and lift. Take a big breath more or so. And as you exhale, bring the left hand down. Tap the left knee to left elbow, squeeze it in. Inhale, lift that leg up into three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, pull it in tight. Inhale, back up. Exhale to the right elbow. Hold for a moment and kick it out to the side into fallen triangle. Take a big breath more here. Hips lifting. Reach over the head. And then sink the hips straight down to the floor. A little different. Lift the chest. And then just three breaths to forward fold and soften a little here. So you're on a bit of a funny angle. You're probably facing towards the back of the mat now. Two more big breaths into this wide-legged forward fold. Next inhale, chest lifts up. Go ahead and bring the left foot next to the right knee. And so your whole body's facing the back of your mat. Place your right hand just behind your hip and we come up into wild thing one more time. Bridge the hips up, press through the left heel, push the ground through the right shoulder, take a big breath. And do your best, one giant step, left foot to the top of the mat, in between the hands, followed by the right foot. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold again. Stand tall, reach up all the way. Exhale, fold forward, and we take a flow. So inhale, halfway lift, step or jump, straight back, chaturanga, bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog, chest through, and into down dog, hips up. One or two breaths. Nice and strong through the shoulders. Staying with the deep felt experience. Carry it into the dynamic movement. Let's walk, step or jump forward. Feet up. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale to fold. Stand tall, reach up. Exhale to fold again. Hands coming down. Halfway lift and now the right foot stepping back. And as you get there, lower the back knee. Raise the chest and arms all the way up. And in this shape, the left hand grabs a hold of the right wrist. And we're just sort of organizing the geometry a little bit here. So sink the right hip forward or, or even sort of draw the right hip forward. So there's a little turn and twist in the hips. The shoulder tilts forward a little bit. And then as you stretch upward, lean left. And then once you get into that side bend, start to turn the right shoulder up to the ceiling. And maybe a better way to put it is to lift the entire back of the heart. Imagine someone's got their hand on your mid back, lifting the heart up. One more nice deep breath here. Keep it pulling through the hand. And into the deep twist now. So right elbow around the front knee. Hands come together and sink the hips a little. Keep the prayer kind of pressure, the pressure in the prayer. Very short hold. One more deep breath. Squeeze your right glutes. Sink the hips. And release. Two hands to the floor. Tuck the back toes now and sink the hips back onto the heel. Shorten up your stance as, as you go. Halfway lift as you get there. Just a little tilt back of the tailbone and then fold in. Pinky toe pulling up. Hands just wherever you want them. Softening through the shoulders and expanding your breath. Final one here now. Inhale. Runner's lunge. Walk the hands forward. Pick up the back knee and find simple twists. Left hand raises up. Take your time. Side plank. Left leg steps back. Now, just organize the balance through the hand and the arm first. Lift a little push. And then left foot in front of the right one. So just next to it. Tap your right knee, your bottom knee, up into the elbow. Take a big breath. And as your left hand comes down, flip it into wild thing. Turn that right leg over. Rotate the hips. Lift the chest. Push the ground away. Take a big breath more or so. And as the right hand comes down, tap the right knee to right elbow. Squeeze. Three-legged dog. Lift that leg up. Exhale. Knee to your nose. Pull it in tight. Inhale. Back up. Now, two-step process. Right knee to left elbow. Tap. And then kick out to the side, back heel down, fallen triangle, lift the hips up, reach over the head, lifting the hips, and then lower your hips to the floor. And we're back in that wide-legged forward fold. So walk the sitting bones back, lift through the lower back, and a sweet re little release and break for a moment. Little pit stop. Two more big breaths to, to just kind of fill up the tank of energy again. Next inhale, chest lifts up, right foot comes behind or, or next to rather the left knee. Here we go. Left hand behind you, lift the hips up into wild thing, holding, lifting the back of the heart, nice and bendy, big breath. Do your best here. Step your right foot straight up to the top of the mat, turn your chest down, step up all the way up. Left foot meets the right one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to stand up, reach up and stretch up. Exhale to fold forward and halfway lift again. Step or jump straight back, chaturanga, bent elbows. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog, hips up. Breath or two more. Walk, step or jump to a squat. Feet outside the hands and sinking the hips down, lifting the chest up and just two or so more breaths here. So pelvic floor lifted, last big breath. And so the floor, step your left foot back into a lizard kind of lunge. Now, as you get in this shape, take your left hand nice and wide, back knee stays straight. Raise the right hand up, take a big breath in. And then thread the needle. Right arm dives under the left armpit. Drop the shoulder down. 
Inhale, lift up, lift out. Do it again. Exhale, thread the needle, dive, drop the shoulder in. Inhale, out. Two hands on the floor and find a three-legged dog. Adjust yourself and raise the right leg up and out. Big breath in, bend the knee. Step the foot in between the hands. Crescent lunge, arms up, big breath in. Go ahead and take the hands behind the lower back into an interlaced position. Roll back the shoulders and then bring the fist over towards your left hip, left hip. Lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders back and take a good two more big breaths, as much back bend as you want, but belly in, last big breath. Now take your time, square up the chest, warrior two. Open the arms, back heel down. Immediately straighten the front leg and reach up. Reach the arms out to a T. Just take a sec, shorten up your stance. Triangle's on its way. Front big toe presses down. Inner arch lifts and the whole inner leg. And as you let the hips sink back, belly in and right hand coming down. So a really controlled entry. Try and engage with the breath, keep it flowing. Back leg feels active here. A little roll on the ankle, so the outer blade of the foot, the very, very back is rolling into the floor. Two more big breaths. Keep the chest kind of puffing forward, not down. And as the left hand comes to the floor, skandhasana at the back of your mat. Turn the left foot back and sink the heel, sink the hips rather to the heel. Heel too, you can sink that. We can press the ankle a little bit, but see about the front foot, your right foot. See if you can lift it up nice and high, engage a little through the, the thigh and the shin and take just two more big breaths. Chest lifting, weights going backwards a little bit. Last big breath here and then Come up into warrior two. So bend your right knee again, windmill the arms open, adjust your back foot inward and reach as far forward as you can and down into side angle. Now go ahead and reach your left arm, top arm over your head and take three big breaths, but make it strong. Reach, reach forward and plant the back foot just like we did. Roll the outer blade into the floor, inner arch of the back foot lifted and we take just one more big breath Two hands to the floor, left hand down. Turn the front foot in. Take an inhale to halfway lift. And then just start to bend into one knee and then the other, shifting your body weight from left to right. Just loosen off a little bit. Take another breath or two here. And then let's get on the move. Halfway lift. Walk the hands back to the top of the mat. Now as we get here, a little tricky. Slide the back knee, the left knee, outside the right ankle and sit down into seated twist. And once you're there, right hand behind you, left hand up. Exhale and twist to your right. Hook the elbow and lift through the lower back. A little crack there. And take a bit of good two more breaths, but let the exhale be very emptying. Two sitting bones as heavy as possible. Drop the right one. One more big breath here. And then release. Turn the chest back through center. Now, a little tricky. Take your hands over to your left and see if you can pretty much just lift your hips and rotate to the back and sit into the squat. Chest lifts up. Take a good two or three breaths more. And now, very gently. Hands on the floor, lift the bum and drop the knees onto the floor. Bring them a little closer together and then adjust the feet to meet. Now, hopefully you're towards the back of your mat. So if you're not, sort of move your way back and then hips lift up, squeeze your glutes and lean back. Hold, breathe, shoulders and knees in one line for one more big breath. Lift the chest, hands to the floor. Scoop the chest into upward facing dog. Pull the chest through. Exhale to down dog. And you're facing the back of your mat. So maybe adjust if you need to. Or just listen for the voice. And let's take one more big breath here. To the squat. Lots of squats going on. Feet to the outside of the hands. Sink the hips low and lift up the chest. One big breath now. 
Two hands down, right foot stepping back into lizard. As you get there, take the right hand wider. Raise the left arm up. Big breath in. Exhale to thread the needle. Dive the shoulder under. Drop it down. Inhale. Open out. Exhale, threading under all the way in. Last one. Inhale to open. And this time, place the hand on the floor and find a three-legged dog. Front foot lifting up and out. Bend at the knee. Give it a nice little lift for a sec. And then stepping the foot in between the hands. Crescent lunge. Arms up. Big breath in. And so in this crescent lunge, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Take the hands over towards the right hip. And then squeeze the shoulder blades back as you start to lift your chest. Squeeze your right glute. Stay planted in the front foot. Two more long breaths. Belly in. Open out, warrior two. Release the arms, back heel down. Might have to elongate a little bit, but go ahead. Straighten the front leg. Reach the left hand up and back. And then reaching forward into triangle. So let the hips sink back. Belly in. Inner leg active as the left hand comes down. Right hand moves up. Long, steady, flowing breaths here. Three to go. Keep the front big toe planted, holding, breathing. Right hand to the floor. Let's get out of here. Turn the right foot back and sink the hips to the right heel. Chest up, left foot lifted, and just playing with the exact position for your body. So a little bit of weight going backwards maybe. A little bit of a, a squeeze in the belly. Suck it in. Two more big breaths. And now towards that straight leg, warrior two. Bend your left knee. Windmill the arms up and open. Adjust the back foot in. And as soon as you're there, reach forward and down into extended side angle. So take the top arm up over the head. Reach as far as you can. Keep the side body reaching, reaching, but then plant the back foot and contrast the direction. Final breath here. It's a shorter hold. As the right hand comes down, turn the left foot in and we're facing the side of the mat. Take a halfway lift, lengthen out your spine. Exhale to fold again. Hands sort of walking the hands backwards a little further and letting the upper body tip forward a little extra. So there's some weight in the toes. Subtle feeling of the belly drawing in and the tailbone lifting. And we'll stay here for maybe just five more breaths or so. If there are any variations that you want to practice, please feel free. Next inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out your spine, walk the hands back to the left hand side of your mat, runner's lunge, seated twist on its way, right knee sliding up behind the left ankle or next to it, sink the hips down, left hand behind you, right hand up, big breath in, exhale to twist, hook the elbow around the knee, sink the hips nice and low, left sitting bone planted, two or three more breaths, Turning through the shoulders, squeezing the left shoulder down and back. Last big breath. And then release. Turn to the right, plant your hands, and then kind of just swivel your hips, rotate to the original top of the mat, and hopefully you're at the back and somewhere in a squat. We take another breath or two in our last squat, I promise, and then. A little bit of a funny transition. Hands coming down. Drop the knees more together. Feet turn in. Lift the hips. Hands by the side. Squeeze your glutes as you lean back. Holding. Two more big breaths. Stay strong. Thighs working. 
Inhale up, hands to the floor. Dive the chest into upward facing dog. Lift. Exhale to down dog, hips up. Breath or two. Walk, step or jump to the top, feet up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. Exhale, hands to prayer, right at heart center. So let's give a little transition a go from dancer into warrior three. And then maybe we try and tack on half moon. I know it's a lot. And we'll try and, try and take a few breaths in each one and consolidate. But I've got some hot tips for you. So let's find dancer. Left hand turns out. Bring the left heel in and catch the inside of the foot. Right hand up. And now as much as you kick into the palm, draw the knee straight back and also pull on the foot. So kick and pull. Squeeze your left glute and keep this kind of tension of kicking and pulling. Maintain some activity at your left glute and gently release the foot into warrior three. Glute tight, belly in. A little bend in the standing leg might be good, but start to lower the chest, hands to prayer. Kick strong out the back. Front big toe presses into the floor and maybe even roll the left hip down just a little. Belly in, draw the energy up through the floor, up through the leg. Now right hand comes down to the ground. Start to lift the left hip straight up. Don't rotate it backwards, lift it straight up. Back knee is nice and strong, straight. Left hand raised, holding. Front big toe pressing. All the toes working into the floor. One more big breath. Step back and down, runner's lunge. Find a three-legged dog. Right foot, uh, right foot up and out. Bend at the knee, lift the hip. One big breath more. And gently step that foot up between the hands. Left foot meeting it. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Stand tall, reach up all the way. Hands to prayer, right at heart center. Turn your right hand out. Take the inside of the foot. Grab a hold. So we've got three kind of active parts. As you kick and pull, also squeeze the right glute kick pull glute keep those aspects chest lifting nice long breaths softness kind of in the mind belly in and kick the leg out t-shape with the body make the knee straight at the back belly in and draw the energy up through the floor up through the leg just visualize it draw it into the belly Maybe the right hip rolls down, holding. Here we go. Tilt the chest a little further. Left hand coming down. Take your time. Knee straight as an arrow. Turn the hip up. Taking your time. Inch by inch, raising the right hand up. Half moon, holding. Knee straight, glute active, belly in. Another big breath or so. And as the right hand comes down, step back, runner's lunge, three-legged dog, left leg up and out, bend at the knee, lift the hip just a touch. Step that left foot between the hands, step the right foot between the hands, inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold again, inhale, stand tall, reach up, exhale to fold, it's going to be a little different though, hands down, bend your knees. Sink the hips to the floor and roll down onto your back. Feet to the floor and just take a second to chill out. Notice a, a really big energetic shift from standing up and balancing and requiring so much focus, coordination, presence, a sense of passion too. And here we immediately contrast it by bringing body weight into the floor, complete surrender. Belly softening, jaw softening. If you haven't already, 
feet on the floor, bent knees, and let's find bridge. So as you tilt the tailbone up, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Not long here, just three breaths or so. Try and engage the bottom of your glutes where they connect to your thigh. Tilt the tailbone forward and squeeze that area a little bit firmer. Belly in and then lift the back of the heart with that tension at the pelvis. Take one more big breath and then release, come on down. Drop the knees a couple of times from side to side, from left to right. A little bit of loosening off. And now an opportunity to practice wheel. I mean, don't go crazy if you think it's a little bit strong, but I think give it a go. So you can bail out pretty quickly and pretty easily, I think. Otherwise, if you're a veteran, some, some extra tips there. So hands come next to the head. The closer they are to the ears, the harder it is. The more they walk away towards the back of your mat, above your head, a little bit easier. And so find a good spot that works for your fingers and wrists. Now we find the bridge, and that's really the foundation. So tilt the tailbone up, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Now, just that little extra refinement. The bottom of the glutes engage, almost like you're drawing your heels back on the floor. And then suck the belly and tilt the tailbone. With that tension, start to drive the heart up between your elbows and so push from the hips and then heart up and back and as you start to lift through the back of the heart breathe down into the body into the belly and then soften your shoulders a little if you're up here and press the heart back re-engage the shoulders Jesus tricky to talk here we'll just take one more big breath and then release and come on out. So, oh, sweet release. Dropping the knees from side to side, left to right. And then an eagle wrap. Right leg crosses over the left thigh. Scoot your hips to the right. Drop your knees to the left. Arms out nice and wide. Just five or six more breaths like this. Nice and loose through the belly. There's still an infusion of sensitivity into it. There's a deep sense of feeling and the attitude of nurturing the body. Breath there in a conscious way. Subtle and smooth. Last big breath here. And then back through to center. And then same thing on the other side. So the left leg wraps over the right one. Hips a little over to the left as well. And then knees rotating over. Left shoulder nice and open. Letting it sink and settle. And so take your attention inward. Notice all the areas that you can feel the posture and then bring that deep quality of softness. Even though there might be a little bit of activity, there's a little bit of effort going on, still at its center is a, a deep empathy. Quality of listening and receptivity. Present with the event. Last breath or two. And then with an inhale, bring the knees back up through the center, hug them in towards your chest, and then rock yourself up to a seat. And once you've once you've come up into the seated position, let's let's come towards double pigeon. So uh, left shin on the bottom, right shin on the top. And once you're there, settle the sitting bones back as far as you can. Now, I know this might not work out for all of us. So something that's a little closer to a figure four might work. Sort of drawing the heel back and, and taking the ankle over a little bit deeper. You'll find what works, even a loose cross-legged position. But let's go ahead, fold forward if you haven't already. Let the two sitting bones be really heavy so they stay in contact with the floor. 
And then there's a subtle feeling of imagining the lower body, your sitting bones and hips going backwards a little bit as the lower back presses forward. So you can imagine kind of two planes of glass is a really rudimentary way to put it. But more of a tilting back of your tailbone. Stick your bum back as you look to extend your spine forward coming from your lower back. And try and soften the face and the jaw and, and just the whole mood and experience of the posture. And we'll probably just hang in here for two or three more deep breaths. And then with an inhale, lifting up the chest nice and slow. Keep the right leg on top, whichever variation you've got going on. Bring your right hand down by your side and raise the left arm up. Just a three breath side bend here. That top leg is just kind of locking the bottom one down. Just for the last breath or two, press your left sitting bone to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Bring your left hand, the top hand, behind your lower back. Kick the top leg out, the right leg, and then rock up onto the knee into stargazer. Lift the hips, one big breath, and then lowering down nice and slow. And we'll come onto the other side of that double pigeon. So whichever leg was on top, take it to the bottom, stack them up, walk your sitting bones back, lifting the lower back. Two planes of glass. Bottom sliding back, lower back to the top of the spine, sliding forward, tilting in, and then breathing in. Breath coming all the way down into the lower back. Smooth and considered exhalations. There's a softness in your mindset, there's Little to no determination, effort, and a, almost a bare minimum, just enough to engage with the posture and keep things conscious, but also space to let the body speak to you and to apply yourself in that listening. Last couple of breaths here. And then with an inhale, lifting up the chest nice and slow. Bring the left hand down by your side, right hand up, little side bend here, lean. Keep the right sitting bone pressing down. Two more big breaths. Inhale, lifting up, lifting out. So right hand behind your back. Left leg, top leg kicks out to the side. And we'll rock up into stargazer. Lift the hips, press them away, reach over the head, big breath in. And then release, come on down. And from there, take your legs out nice and wide. We'll come towards a wide legged forward fold. So walking the sitting bones back a little more. Feet lifted. Again, that same feeling of the tailbone tilting back and then the belly and lower back tilting forward to come into the fold. You can imagine kind of a circuits in the body here. And if you imagine a sort of downward flow of energy and activation down through the back of the legs into the heel, so kicking the heel out, but letting that come from the hip. So the hip is the origin of that kick all the way down through the leg, out into the heel. And then imagine that circles up through the toes so the toes start to pull back. And we create a little circle as the toes pull back up towards the hip to engage the shin, the knee, the thigh, all the way up. And so there's a kicking and pulling at the same time. Pretty subtle and refined things, but I think helps an enormous amount over repetitious practice. Maybe not a huge difference in one practice, but massive over several better just take the last couple of breaths here 
Next inhale, lifting up, lifting out. Close the legs, close the knees, and um, drop them from side to side just a couple of times, sort of rocking up onto one hip and then the other as you're rotating. And then center the knees, feet about as wide as your hips, so about, a, about the width of your sitting bones. Hands out to the side as you roll back your shoulders, lift the hips up towards the ceiling into reverse tabletop. Squeeze the bottom of the glutes like we did in, in bridge, but then suck the belly in and press the chest up through the shoulders. Send the body weight forward a little bit Feel it intensify, but lift the chest again. Roll the shoulders out and take one more big breath. And then release, coming down nice and slow. Once you're there, grab a hold of your knees and roll straight down onto your back. Arriving there, legs up towards the ceiling. Now, you're welcome to come up into shoulder stand here and lift the hips with the hands. Or alternatively, slide your hands underneath the outside of your hips. If you've got a block or bolster, nice to use underneath your tailbone or, or your hips there. A little inversion here. We'll stay for just a few nice, sort of easy, floaty, light breaths here. Let, let this posture be really a pleasant experience. If you're up there in shoulder stand, you know, keep your base firm. Wriggle your elbows together, spread your chest. Activate your core and lift your hips, legs towards the ceiling, reaching, reaching perpetually. And with that sense of lift, you might take the legs over the face into plow. And try and relax the back of the tongue, whichever shape you've got, and just the last couple of breaths here. And then release feet to the floor, slide your legs forward in front of you. And if you haven't already, take your hands underneath your backside, underneath your glutes, palms face down, thumbs are just about touching each other. Now fish pose. So let's go, let's go, let's go through this really systematically. So point your feet, suck your belly in and press your hips into the floor by tightening your thighs. And now lift the chest, wriggle the elbows together underneath you and then we play a game of contrasts so toes point forward belly draws in chest lifts up so legs are pointing down away from you but then belly and chest are lifting up and back extend your neck before you open your chin so initially you're looking to the ceiling and the head looks to grow out the back before the chin drops open now keep the shoulders squeezing take about two more big breaths here chest up And then release, come on down, release the hands, find happy baby, grab the outer blades of the feet and have a little pedal, have a play, have a kick of the legs. If you wanted to try just a little, a little pathway towards some, some pretty crazy stuff, you could bring the feet together just above your head, making a diamond shape with the legs. And then imagine the toes can come back towards the forehead. Now be mindful of your lower back, but then you might start to lower the tailbone down a little, feel that tension grow. And imagine that the feet are gonna go behind your head now. You just take two or three more breaths, tailbone down, feet lifting up and back. And then a final happy baby before you hug the knees in towards your chest. Do anything else you need before Shavasana, but as soon as you're ready, let's come on down and rest. So fully adjusted, comfortable through the shoulders and the neck, head and the hips. Nice deep breath in, long, heavy breath out. Relax your neck, relax your eyebrows and your jaw. The lips soften, tongue softens. And then 
and start to feel a deep sense of release spreading through the entire body. Especially noticing your belly space soften. Lower back soften. Pelvic floor soften. The heels soften. No tension in the fingers or toes. Whole body just in a complete state of surrender. No effort at all. And just take a few moments here to let the body rest and rejuvenate. And take a moment to yourself. Take a nice deep breath in. Have a little wriggle and a stretch. Externalize your mind. Take as much time as you want to awaken, really. But when you feel ready, you might like to turn off to a side. Make your way up to a seated position. And as you come up into the seat, if you're called to, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Take a little moment to, to reflect, just acknowledging how the, the practice might shift things a little for yourself. We bring a deep sense of appreciation, acknowledgement, and recording into it. We document this process, we let it sink in. And it's with that depth of appreciation and gratitude and we humbly bow the head and say namaste. Thank you, folks. Pleasure. Pleasure as always. Fantastic to have you here. Take care. Big love to you. See you next time.